what are you doing uh, here in New York, and what are your thoughts um, on the now? The idea of what you're doing, of putting this into schools, um, I think is a fabulous thing, because I think it's all very well to talk about it, but the thing is, when you actually put it in the mainstream, I think that's very important. I think that's the foot in the door, because then people can then say, ah, in Detroit, where the David Lynch Foundation has put the program into schools, the results are these. And I think this is what people need. They don't need high-minded talk so much as results. And so for you to be able to say the kids love it, the kids in the West Bank love it, the kids in Brazil love it, and you're actually getting results, it, to me it's like a seed. That It's for sure if you take a great seed, an acorn, and you don't put it in the ground, it's pretty guaranteed you won't get an oak tree. But if you put it in the ground, there's a very good chance you'll get an oak tree. And I think that's, that seems to me what you're doing. So that's what I love about what we're involved in now. And so that's why I was so happy to do the concert. It's very inspiring. <laughs> years ago uh, we ended up in Rishikesh and that's where we met well it wasn't where we met it's where we hung out with Maharishi we'd met him a few months before in Wales um, and since then sometimes uh, a lot and sometimes a little I have meditated and uh, you know it's a, a gift he gave me um, was my mantra that something I could use and something no one could take away. So it's one of the few things I was ever given that uh, means that much to me. Histories of ages past and then light and shadows cast down through all eternity the crying of humanity Tis then when the hurdy gurdy man Come singing songs of love Then when the hurdy gurdy man Come singing songs of love Do you have any advice for young artists that are, are just starting out in the musical business? Yeah, learn to meditate. <laughs> uh, and do transcendental meditation because if you want to get in touch with your creative juices they're all going to be inside anyway and songwriting uh, I'm quite a, a master of songwriting by now and I know that you have to create the circumstances for the music to come through you and the best way to do that is to dive deep down inside a lot of musicians do it without meditation and they do quite well once you learn, though, you can get right down there, like David Lynch says, and catch those big fish. That's the big ideas, yeah. This is such an amazing evening, having been a school teacher, and to see how kids respond to meditation is amazing. And we're going to do a song for, for you by an artist I've always loved and who was an inspiration personally for so many of us. Um, a man who I think lived with the, uh, the reality of knowing that, that death is a part of living and that to manifest peace throughout, one must manifest peace with, within, and that was George Harrison. Yeah. I want to bring out a really beloved friend of mine, um, Ben Harper. Feel free to sing along.
takes so long, my Lord, my sweet Lord, mm, my Lord, mm, my Lord. I really want to know you, I really want to go with you. As we all know, we're living and navigating through an immense amount of chaos in the universe. You know, our, our kids are growing up with this kind of chaos, this kind of stress that's being handed down to them and thrust upon them. And, um, and they're not equipped to understand how the central nervous system is braced at all times to try to handle that. And it comes out in very, very destructive ways sometimes with kids, whether it's not being interested in school or whether it's getting into violence or whatever, or drugs or whatever that is. Um, this is the right thing to do. It is the message that should be sent throughout the world that all of us on this planet can talk about peace. But peace begins within all of us. And it's not about having a peaceful relationship with somebody which means not getting in arguments or getting along. Peace is something deeper than that. It is tapping into something that exists in all of us and that makes us unique and that helps us to be um, pure, but we get away from that because our brains are so overactive and we're constantly, um, constantly being um, um, uh, um, dictated by chaos. And so I, I feel like this is the right thing to do and it's, it's what um, should be in the school systems, but also should be a part of our daily lives um, throughout. One of the things that impressed me so much about TM when I finally learned it was its simplicity. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not ideologically driven, it's not dogmatic, it's a simple practice that calms the mind. And I mean, I've, as a spiritual dilettante, I've tried a lot of different types of meditation. And the thing that really won me over with TM, um, apart from having my hero David Lynch as its most vocal practitioner, um, was its effectiveness. You know, no other meditation, no other practice I tried was as effective at quieting my mind and helping me to go to a very calm, centered place. And one of the things that makes TM so effective is you don't really have to do all that much. Uh, and as a profoundly lazy person, I appreciate that. called transcendental meditation yeah, which right. is really great it's 20 minutes and um, it helps with my jet lag especially but mm -hmm. it's this meditation that I learned and you get a mantra and basically you know like your mind is always going whether you're awake or whether you're asleep even when you're asleep your subconscious is so intense like imagine those crazy dreams that you're so embarrassed of having yeah. that you yeah, can't yeah, tell yeah. anyone else yeah. <laughs> that's your subconscious going wild and so when you meditate you actually get to turn your mind off for a second and it really helps it's like the deepest sleep that your body so needs. So do you wow. have your own mantra? I do, and you're not allowed to tell anybody it. 